So we talked about why RAM is so expensive in my last video, but what about storage? I haven't seen SSDs cost this much since they replaced hard drives. Right now, we're looking at SSDs being double to triple their normal price. And that's only for the low tier SSDs. So why is this happening? Well, it's a two part story and it dives a little bit into economics. So let me use my degree here. Bear in mind, I will be simplifying things. First, let's understand how SSDs work. Inside or on top of your SSD, you'll find these little black chips. These are called NAND flash memory chips and they're the working storage memory of any SSD. There are six primary companies that produce these NAND flash memory chips. These chips get purchase by the companies you buy your SSDs from. They essentially buy the chips, put them on a board that can connect to your computer, and then sell them to you. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about why the prices are so up right now. So about a year ago, you probably noticed that SSDs were pretty darn cheap. You could get a one terabyte M2 SSD for like $45 if you looked hard enough. The reason that the prices got that low is because the demand for NAND flash memory chips slowed down, meaning not enough people were buying the storage that was available on the market. To make the SSDs more desirable to consumers so that they could actually sell the SSDs, they lowered the prices. And after that, they slowed down the production of the NAND chips, since they were clearly producing more than what people needed, or at least more than what people were willing to buy. And obviously, it costs a lot of money to manufacture products and store them. So if you slow down your production, you're going to cut your costs a little bit. They just wanted to waste less money. After they did this, without any warning, AI and data centers came into the picture, and they needed a ton of hardware to support their tech. So they started buying up all of the NAND chips. Unfortunately, the NAND chip manufacturing companies would much rather sell to these big data and AI centers because they buy a lot and they put a lot of money into it. And in turn, that means higher prices for consumer products, being the SSDs that we put in our computers. So it's kind of a crappy compounding effect. You have the lingering results of the slowed down NAND chip production and AI and data centers buying up all the chips. What do you guys think? Has this impacted your PC build? Let me know below and don't forget to follow.